Hello, gals and gents. My name's Kevin, Jessica's husband. And don't forget me. Hey, I'm here too. Oh, it's our friend, uh, best friend Giovanni. Well, today we're going to do a little voiceover for Jessica's beautiful look here. We're going to start out... Purple, purple. Oh yeah, the purple stuff. So we're going to... It's not purple, don't worry, but we're going to put that on our face. You want to make sure it's all over your face, just on your chin, on your cheek, even all the way back to your ear a little bit. No, yeah, we don't like those those things there. Those are bad. And then we're going to brush some other colored stuff on our face. We get you nice and, and toned, even skinned, toned. And yeah, looking good. Got to get the the forehead and everything. Sometimes there you got to pull back your hair and then just poke all over your face. Push a little here, put a little there. It's called the poke method, mm -hmm. but it works pretty well, typically. And then you're going to blot that. Oh, is that what that's called? Yeah, it's blotting. Blot. Blot, blot it and brush. Uh, new, new one, new one, new one. So this we're going to hold it there. First of all, you kind of create these like lines, like a giant V under your... So you think about every bag that's ever been there, you're going to eliminate every single one today. And then you blend. It's all about the blend. You got to blend it and blend it and blend it. All right. Now we're going to use some, some Mac something or other. And we're going to put it on our eyes and just get them, get them based coated. And then we're going to use this other little palette here. And we're gonna we're gonna get it up in there. Just gotta get as close as your eyebrows as you possibly can. And if you if you go over it, that's okay because we're gonna draw over it. We never like our eyebrows. And then we're gonna get some darker stuff here, and we're gonna do a little eyeshadow, and we're just gonna kind of sweep it in there, doing in the creases, just a nice little brown look there. Mm -hmm. This is is a good uh, fall color. Make sure you always pick the one that you haven't used in a long time. So this one we haven't used in a while. We're going to use this dark color. It's going to go only in the corners, um, never all the way across, though. It's going to give us a nice smoky look here. And this is where we get the wow factor. It's the glitter. A bam! A bam, suckers. Oh, yeah, look at that. That looks beautiful. Good job. Double bam. Little uh, Mac. More Mac. This is an eyeliner. It looks like you're about to poke it in your eye. If you poke your eye, it means you're doing it right. You got to be careful not to poke it too hard, though, because that may hurt. But th she's doing a great job right over the lash. Beautiful. See, another color we haven't used in a while, black. So here we go. We're going to go on the corners a little bit on your eyelashes. The good thing is if your eyelashes are already black, then this is what it's going to color anyway. So it doesn't really matter. I mean, no one wants blue on their eyelash, so black eyelashes are good. So we're going to go back to that corner and make it as dark as possible. <laughs> we wanted to give it a nice smoky look. I know that's that's a thing. Have it look smoky. All right, open your eye as wide as you possibly can and just right on the bottom. Yep, right there. See that pink? You don't want to see any of it. And then right underneath as well. Yep, just slowly. So we're using this blue palette and we're going to get right underneath the eye there and just get that nice and colored. All right, so now that we're almost done with the eye, we're going to switch back over here to this thing right here. A yellow brush is the best brush of all the brushes because the blue brush sometimes just gets all over, and then the more brush you have with a yellow brush, then the better the brush. All right, so we're going to go ahead and use the back to the black brush, apparently, because I thought the yellow brush was good, but we're back to black. Oh, yeah, it's good for the lips, that's why. And then we're going to use the hula because if you want to look great, then you want to use the hula. Before you do the hoop. And All you're right. going to get your kind of your your V there, your your cheeks and your forehead. A little bit of your hair too. Kind of helps when you, you go into the salon, then you'll already be ready. And it's blending. All, All right. right. And then we're going to get that. Is it? It's not the T zone. I don't know what it is specifically, but it's just that area there. So we're going to use this thing. It looks like a macaroon, but it's not. But it does a great job of just kind of getting your cheeks all colored in there and looking nice and pretty. And you want to do some circles. Anastasia. Now, this is not Drizella's sister, as most think that made it, but this is when we're going to switch over to doing our eyebrows. Now, these are always done really quickly, so we're going to speed right through them. I know that it might take you a lot longer than this, but you can always pause it and replay it, pause and replay it, because these are the best looking eyebrows you've probably seen in a while. Um, but especially if you look over here to this other one, I mean, come on, who has better ones than these? And whatnot. So we're just going to fill them in. And then now we're going to use this eyelash thing, and we're going to get our eyelashes looking good and dark. This part's really fun because you get to like close and open your eyes a lot and just pray that it comes out well. And then you got to do the bottom lashes. You don't want to neglect them. And then now we're going to use a handful of different things here. And we're going to we're gonna line our lips because then we're going to color within the lines, which is, you know, makes things easier. This is my favorite because it's such a like, it's like a skinny lipstick because it's so much easier to put on, a lot more precise. But this one. This is that same Q-tip that you used earlier in your ears out of the bathroom. That is the way to go. Man, the nutrients that's in that really makes great lips. Good nutrients. Now we're going to put some fake lashes on 
and uh, we're, we're gonna use some glue and then yeah they're done and then we just are looking beautiful and gorgeous as always make sure you sh show every angle because all of it looks good oh yeah and beautiful eye makeup well thank you guys so much we hope that you love this video please subscribe and check out our other videos we'll see you guys later thanks